We'll have a quick look at how you can start showing the dots for your dice instead of just showing the number as text. Uh, we have our basic dice that we've been doing in class. We can see that if we press the A button, we're getting a random number, and at the moment that's being shown just as a number on the screen. What we essentially want to do is to start implementing this flowchart that we've been doing in class. Now remember this is not the complete flowchart, but it does show the basics of what we have so far. So pressing the A button, setting our variable to be a random number, one to six, and then we start getting into the questions. So if the number value is one, we're gonna show the single dot. If it's not, we fall across and we check for the second option, the, the two value, and we show two and so forth. You need to add in the extra uh, values over here to get to all six values. Um, but let's have a look at how we can implement that. So this is what we have so far, the A button setting the, the random value and currently showing the number. We're not gonna be showing a number, we'll take that out. We'll just hold on to that variable for a second though, because we will be needing that. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is to ask an if question. That comes from our logic area. So we can just take an if statement and put one of those in. And the question we need to ask is if this number variable that we've kept is equal to the value one. So we're going to get that also from the math section no, sorry, from the logic section as well. The equals is actually in here. Uh, the rest of the maths operations are here, but when we come to checking, the comparison as it's called, it's actually in the logic area. So I'm gonna get one of those out. So it's if the number is equal to one in this case, and we'll move that into our question. So that's just like we've seen in previous programming. If the number variable value is equal to one, then it's gonna do what's inside here. So what we want is instead of just showing the number as text, we want to now show some LEDs. So the quickest way at the moment is to simply grab one of these show LEDs and then basically put our design in. So the, the one we've clicked on is the light that's going to be lit up, the LED light, and that's going to show up on the screen as this. Now, technically this is working, but because we have a random value, we're only going to get a result for a single one. So just so we're going to take our random out for a moment and set the value to one, just so we can prove that it actually works. Okay. Let's add a second value in. So if it's not equal to one, we want to ask the second question. So again, if we look at our design, if it's not equal to one, we then want to ask if it's equal to two. So we need to add a second value in here. And you can see it says else at the moment because this is looking for the false option. But we actually need it to have the whole if question in here. So the quickest way to do that is to add one more in. And you can see this has turned into an else if and it ends with an else. Now we can take this else away later on if we want, but it might come in handy. So let's just leave it for the moment. Uh, let's focus on this else if. Now to make life easier, we can just duplicate that section here, put it in, change that value to a two. And of course we need this section as well. We can duplicate that. And we're going to now make that a two value. So I'm gonna make it look like this for my two. So now we can uh, do a random value between one and two to get something happening on the screen. So there's a two, there's a one, there's a one, there's a one and a two. So we're gonna see that's working. If we wanna go for our third option, just like before, let's expand this out one step further with a new else if again, duplicate that, change that to be three, and I'll duplicate that. And let's make this look like a three. So I'm gonna do it this way. There we go, we've got three dots. And up the top here, I'll temporarily change my random to pick between one and three. So now I can see, hopefully, there we go, there's my three happening. So I'm pretty certain you should now start to see the pattern of how we can do this. Uh, it should only take a few more clicks to uh, finish off all six. Um, so you have a go and you should find this quite easier to do now.